Parents need to stop killing their children. You say, oh, you mean abortion? Well, that's the first part of it. Um, but there's three different ways that modern parents are killing their children. First and foremost, of course, you have the obvious one, like I said, abortion. People kill their children through abortion, which is really mind-boggling to think about. Um, well, you just want to have uh, fornication all the time without it the um, thing of having a child and having to take care of a child. Don't want to take responsibility for your actions. That's a problem. Uh, so that's number one way that they do it. Secondly, there are two other ones that are very similar in relation, and that is that uh, parents teach their children that they are uh, sodomites. Um, they get them into that whole thing and they say, well, if you feel a little bit uncomfortable around boys, well, maybe it's because you actually are attracted to girls. Or if you feel uncomfortable asking a girl out, maybe it's because you should be asking a guy out or something like that. So well, how's that killing them? Very simple. You're sterilizing the child, which is ultimately death. Um, and then the other one, of course, would be the transgender thing. You have people now, modern parents, and they're saying, my son no longer identifies as a boy, he identifies as a girl. Congratulations, you just killed him. Uh, how so? Well, because by telling him that he's something that he's not, scientifically speaking, you've just sterilized him. So you're in a sodomy, you're a transgender, you sterilize them both ways. That means that when they die, they no longer continue. It's kind of funny because the school system, the public school system, system teaches evolution and the primary tenet of evolution is survival of the fittest. That's the whole, that's the mode, the means of evolution. We are the fittest, we survive. Well, and man is an animal, homo sapiens, according to the evolutionary theory. So then, if you're an animal, wouldn't you want to procreate and create stronger offspring that would help your species to survive? So, if you're going with the evolutionary theory because you reject Jesus Christ in the Bible, then um, you're actually teaching your child that you want them dead, that their generation needs to die off. You see, if parents actually believed evolution theory, they wouldn't be telling their children to uh, get into situations where they're sterile. They would actually be saying, you need to get married. If you're a young girl, you need to get married. You need to start having children, have the very best, the very strongest children so that our species can survive. Uh, if you're a boy, you better get out there, you better learn how to work, and you better get the prettiest girl that you can and bear the best children, the best offspring that you can so that our species can survive. But see, the reality of it is they don't really believe it. Uh, people don't really believe in the evolutionary theory because if they did, they wouldn't be killing their children. They wouldn't kill their future generations. Let me show you what's going on here from the scriptures. Uh, I can get my hand out of the pocket. Excuse me. There we go. So unprofessional. <laughs> Isn't it terrible? Um, back here looking for my son lost his saw, hand saw, and I haven't found it yet. I'm trying to find it. But uh, the book of 2 Peter, chapter 2, describes the situation pretty well, as the scripture always describes every situation. It's a, a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Um, verse 12 through 14. But these, as natural brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not. Can't tell you how many times I see these little evolutionary kitties and they talk about the Bible being such a horrible book and, you know, all this bigoted intolerance, hate speech, homophobic, the whole thing. Have you ever read it? No. Mm -hmm. speak evil of the things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption and shall receive the reward of unrighteousness as they that count it pleasure to riot in the daytime like a lot of these kids do spots they are and blemishes sporting themselves with their own deceiving, deceivings while they feast with you having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin beguiling unstable souls and heart they have exercised with covetous practices cursed children the bible has your number um just works that way uh i realize i'm probably not going to get through to too many people but i'm more than more than anything i'm just trying to give 
uh, ways to fight this whole system to brothers and sisters in the Lord so that you have relatives and whatever that are lost and you can just say, why are you sterilizing your children? That's a dumb thing to do. This is what we call Big Rock, Maine. Um, it's a big rock, okay? <laughs> Very big rock. You can actually climb on it. There's little areas here where you can climb up the thing. I'm not going to do it because I'm holding the camera, but this is on our property. Now you explain to me how this thing got back here, okay? Uh, flood in the days of Noah. We're up over a thousand feet above sea level here, where we're at, or I should say right around a thousand feet above sea level. Some parts of the property are about 900 something feet above sea level. This is, this part's up on a little bit of a hill, so about 1,000 feet above sea level. And we have this gigantic rock here, just sitting out here in the woods, just uh, like it was just dropped here. Kind of an interesting situation. The only creek that's nearby is to the west of us. Um, but this thing, pretty interesting. See, I don't believe in the evolutionary theory. I believe that God made the heavens and the earth. And I believe that uh, God uh, is not pleased with perversion. And all the three things I mentioned today, be it... Um, uh, abortion, sodomy, or the transgender thing, it's all related to perversion. Every single last bit of it. And, um, so, you want to sterilize your children and destroy their future and destroy your own future and, and uh, prove that you are an inferior species according to the rules of evolution? Well, what can I say? Not much I can do for you. Uh, <laughs> But hopefully if you are lost and you've seen this thing, maybe starting to come to your senses and you say, you know, all this uh, woke stuff and whatever else, and you can identify as whatever you feel like identifying as. I mean, hey, you can identify as this big rock here. You know, uh, please don't make me learn. I, I'm a big rock. I mean, you know, you study the evolutionary theory, you, you go back to rocks if you understand that. That little algae there, stuff on there. Um, rained on the rocks for millions and billions of years and you know, and then it created pools of water and bacterial goo in there and then lightning shocked it and, and Frankenstein became alive. Brilliant. That's science for you. Uh, no, that's science fiction. So, that will be it. Did not find my son's saw, but I have to head back. I have to get down to the office. So, but uh, I hope that you understand what I'm trying to say here. Um, I don't hate anybody. So you're so filled with hate. Why would you make such a video? Because I'm trying to get you out of your system that's self-destructive. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to hurt anybody or destroy anybody. I want to see people get saved. I want to see people get straightened out. Don't have your children sterilize themselves. It's a bad idea. So, all right. That is going to be it. I have to head back to the civilized world, which I don't prefer to be around. <laughs> so, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.